able to learn a lot easier and with a lot more confidence, which is great because before that, I had no confidence in anything learning-wise. Um, I got picked on, kind of teased because I wasn't as smart as the other kids. And Life at home was challenging. I watched every day as I felt like I was losing my son. It was a fight every morning. There was weeks where I'd pretend like I was sick just because I didn't want to have to deal with feeling insignificant. I didn't believe in myself. I wasn't confident. I didn't think that I was going to go anywhere. I didn't get what the teachers were saying. It was hard for me to focus with like 30 kids in the class and stuff. I didn't like school at all and didn't want to go to school. I didn't really like it there at all be be because of these kids, but I'm a lover. I'm not a fighter. I don't like to hit or bite or whatever. It was easy for him to just fly under the radar. Um, I like being just a number. I like being an, a fish in a big pond. And he kind of flew below the radar. So we went through, is it ADHD, is it organizational, is it this, is it that? And I was just the kid who would come home and be like, oh, hey, look, Dad, I got a C. Aren't you super proud of me that I didn't fail the test? They've had experiences from other schools that have caused them to be reticent to learn. It has caused them to be shy and uh, to shut down and not al allow themselves to be themselves. They've had negative experiences in classrooms. They either felt defeated at their other school or just didn't feel comfortable there. It was terrible. I mean, I didn't understand what the teacher was saying. It just didn't make any sense. She was searching nationwide for a place that would address sailors learning difficulties. I said, what's DA? And he started to explain it's learning differences. And I said, you mean learning disabilities? He said, no. Noah doesn't have learning disabilities, but man, nobody learns like Noah does. Denver Academy was really the first place that didn't examine me under a microscope of there is something wrong with this person. If we're this campus full of people that are different, sort of what's so different about that? I was excited and nervous, but then when I walked into the door, and saw how nice everybody was and how great it was, I lost all that nervousness. When I came in, everybody was just kind of inviting and not like, new kid, yuck, and just, they felt nice. They realized that um, their struggles aren't as different as the rest of the kids that are already here. In the past, they haven't been treated as an individual or valued for their strengths. They've only been seen as the things that they're doing wrong. You have gifts, use your gifts. And that was such a refreshing way to look at things. DA is a place where people go to reinvent themselves in a way. I, I would have to describe it as just me feeling important and me having some self-worth self -worth instead of comparing myself to the kid who could write faster than me or read a book in better time. So we went from physical altercations on the front lawn that neighbors saw trying to get him to go to school to him waking me up and saying, Mom, I'd like to be there early. Can you, can you get up? She said this happened within two weeks. She said, I'm telling you two weeks. And I thought, wow, you really drank the Kool-Aid, didn't you? And she was right. Little things like cops, I still remember, capitalization, organization, punctuation, and spelling. And I'd be lying if I said that I hadn't used that in college. It's very focused in the classroom. They're very focused on you learning the material and helping you understand it rather than here's a problem, now do 50 more of them for homework tonight, just as busy work. You just have to, to break it down to something that easy. But I certainly want to have that environment where the kids are involved. The teachers just understand, they like try to get to know you, they know what they know what you do in your free time and everything. We're laying things out, we're laying all these tools out for you. You try, you pick up the ones that work for you. Once you find something that works, lock your tool belt. Standing on desks, stacking books on top of people's heads. They might be sitting in a little nook and cranny in my classroom, they might be sitting on a, an exercise ball, they might be standing up while I have a discussion with the class. I've learned how to control myself and slow down, which has helped me a lot. All in the end, everyone gets the same work done, and but you get it done at the way that you want it done and at your own speed. You know, how are you? How is your day? Um, what do you need help with? Are you okay? And they're such simple questions that in a life of a struggling teenager means so much. Why in the world would you try to teach everyone the same way? It, it just makes sense to try to teach people the way that they learn. 
Easter eggs and little fuzzy pom-poms to have students tangibly be able to manipulate um, objects for understanding Punnett squares rather than just filling out a worksheet and taking notes. I'm a very auditory learner so I love lectures but uh, I to repeat those lectures I need to speak to a different person. Right at the start we really try to focus on teaching them how to self-advocate so if they can talk to teachers about what works for them and how they learn um, I think that's a huge piece that they can take with them. It's, it's actually not rocket science, it's pretty straightforward. And, and I don't know why everybody doesn't teach this way. Um, just letting them know how fantastic they are no matter what, that goes a long way. The biggest thing is how he's treated as an individual. And their expectations for Noah are different from their expectations from Cameron and from Jackson and from every other kid here. And I think this is the most unique uh, uh, teaching and learning environment. Uh, if you just look around at our teachers, our teachers are as diverse as our students All are. All are charismatic and goofy and fun and lively. They are so funny. Like, teachers are hysterical. <laughs> DA really saved our lives. It saved our family. It saved my child. It's put him in a good spot. And he's got such a great future ahead of him. If I did not go to Denver Academy, I, you know, I really don't like entertaining that thought. I would still hate an intellectual aspect of myself, and because I do, I thrive off of an intellectual environment. And I know he would not be achieving academically anywhere near he, his potential, and I really do think he's reaching it here. And he has an incredibly bright future. We are so excited for him to spread his wings and finally fly. Um, I got accepted to Northeastern in Sterling, Colorado, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna become a diesel mechanic, get my two year associates, and then hopefully work on some cool cars and stuff. I wanna go to UCCS for the first year uh, in Colorado Springs, and then go to Pace University in New York to study economics. Where I got a BI in office management and infrastructure, and an emphasis in international business and a cross-discipline of engineering and technology. I went on to receive my Bachelor of Fine Arts in Sculpture from the College of Santa Fe in New Mexico. And now I'm a fellow at the Blackstone Entrepreneurs Network in Colorado and Boulder, hopefully starting law school in the fall. And since then, I have been a professional artist. But it has given us such an assurance, a reassurance that she is going to be okay. She's gonna excel, she's going to have great advancement and be a complete and whole adult. Walking over the bricks of the alumni as we come in and seeing those kids whose lives you changed. It's pretty cool. It's very rewarding. I see success as students that are inspired to learn and love learning again and are confident and, and happy going to school. There's no reason a kid shouldn't be happy at school. I mean, that, that's what people do. They learn. That's what the brain does. And how their lives have transformed and how you've had a part of that. It's, uh, you can't put a price tag on that. And that's pretty darn cool. So, I am smart enough to do kind of whatever I want. Uh, wherever they go next, whether that be college or a job or, or anything, uh, they'll realize all of the, the advantages they gain from going to this school. I don't know, maybe your tagline should be Denver Academy, it's worth it. It was the best sacrifice we ever made. It was, so anyways, am I done?